Hi there. Uh, I'm gonna start setting up the trophy tank over here. It's an old tank, but uh, I'm gonna set up a new tank for it. Uh, so I got most of my stuff ready here. Um, I got some uh, soy from SL Aqua. Uh, uh, no particular reason. We just restock it, so might well as well use the one that I have the most at my shop right now. Um, I'm gonna use the. I got a bunch of the uh, driftwood, the ugliest I can find in my shop, mainly because they are not selling so much as well, I just use it for myself. This is like, you look at it, like, like this is the ugliest, of it. this is the ugliest wood I have in my shop right now, so I'm going to use it. It has been sitting here for a long time, so I'm going to find a way to use this ugly piece of wood. And also the uh, rocks, I have, uh, I want to use this new rocks, but I'm not sure if I'm able to because they uh, doesn't come in a uh, great variety of sizes. This is a new rock that I have. I'm not sure it's capable with uh, even. I'm not even sure if it's capable with the uh, uh, planet tank because I'm not sure the pH of it. It doesn't look like it's gonna affect the pH that much, but I'm I'm not really sure. But I'm not sure if I can use them because uh, this down. This is a small size that I have. But I'm not sure if I can use it for my skip. So yeah, I got my skip. Mm, let's get started. We'll come back to you guys. Hi, welcome back. Uh, so this is how it looks like now. I can, as you can see, I have decided to not use these rocks over here because um, they are the size is not right, and then also the color is also not right. It's quite bright. It's quite catchy. So I've switched it with the Rustone instead. Uh, but I have some idea to use this one for that small tank over here. Um, but the size is now nah, I'll figure it later on. But anyway, this one uh it look like this now. But then I know I, I have problem with the use stone that I'm trying to use because uh I only have limited number of the the size of stone that I need and there's no choices. So then I still started to throw in those small ones inside there and then fill it up with soil. Usually it make it more natural and nice looking. But then only I remember. The old rocks that I use for the uh, old uh, design, I still have it, so I'm going to do some re, re, re escaping with the uh, uh, rocks. But basically, it's going to look like this. I'm going to go with the um, uh, forest style. And yeah, this is how it looks like now. For now, maybe I'll just change it later. But, but I noticed a, a problem here. We have a problem. So, because uh, the, the woods, it's like I said, it's the less attractive one over here. So it's been here for quite some time. So it's very dried up. So there's a very big chance that it's gonna flood up when we uh, fill up with uh, water later on. So um, uh, that we have, I have to face some. Um, no, no, I'll figure out some, some, some to deal with that one. But anyway, that's now. I have to go to. Uh, some medicine for a scar first, Chanchila. Uh, he has some eye problems, so I'll just take us a break and I'll come back and see uh, what we have. I don't have a plan, just like it's going like circling over here in my brain and just go with the flow. All right, bye. Okay, so this is the how the aquarium look like now. Okay, I have done a bit of the changing of the reason a bit. Just keeping it at some soy. Uh, in total, I have used around um, almost four bags of the soy. Uh, there's a bit of it left over here, but I might need to like use it to fill up on uh, some space later on. So uh, roughly about four bags. Um, yeah, this is how it looks like. I use some stone for the old aquarium. Basically, uh, I don't think we'll change much from here on. Uh, but we're gonna add some moss and some uh, 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 maybe fissile on the uh, woods it's gonna get a little bit more forest. We're gonna go for the forest design, uh, and also maybe I have to figure out some way to like uh, hang the unicorn. Like it's a bit troublesome to maintain. I was uh, I would think the one because this uh, all the driftwood uh, that put to the uh, top of the aquarium. It, it hard. It will be hard to move the. Uh, lights around you block the 
it's always, it's always difficult for me to skate the plants uh, because all the um, the wood is rocking away. So I might want to like lift it up and hang it over here if possible. I'm not sure if it can be done. Cause like um, you guys look over here. This one go in the middle of the tank. Let's like, see in between the, uh, the glass over here. So I have to figure out some way to do it. Uh, and also, oh yeah. Uh, regarding the uh, backdrop, the, the white backdrop over there, I uh, purposely put it there. I use a white color one, mainly is because uh, for photographing purposes, you know, uh, normally I would want to have a few like on the back so that uh, to reduce the shadow of the uh, photo. So for this one, I don't think I will be able to do some uh, few like anymore because this is uh, like behind the glass counter over here. So there's no way for me to put any light behind it. So I'm hoping that the uh, white backdrop would uh, reflect the top like that, like, like just like how we're doing now. So you can see the unicorn light, some of the light is reflected back to the front. So hopefully uh, it will work out. But uh, then, and again, in return, it's actually look quite nice by using the uh, white backdrop. So yeah, that's it. Mm, we'll come back a few days later in the show when, uh, and when it's ready. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, for now I'm going to have to fill up the water, remove it, fill up the water, do a few water changes, let the filter run, so the carbon to absorb all the extra nutrients from the soil to make the water as pure as possible so to give the uh, uh, plants a better chance to survive, to grow. Uh, this is the usual method that I would use for my uh, tank. Uh, I would uh, do the decoration things uh, without plants so I'll fill up the water, run the filtrations. I won't open the lights, I won't open the CO2 because I don't want the, uh, any algae to grow. So uh, during this moment, uh, this type period of time, I won't have any plants out there. Just the whole cycle for a week or two is just to uh, remove the excess waste from the, uh, not the excess waste, maybe extra nutrients from the soil, some excess waste, I'm not, not sure. So just make the water as clean as possible and during the last cycle, I will uh, remove all the water and fill up with uh, reverse osmosis water. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, behind the soil, underneath there, you guys want to know I have nothing inside there. Uh, it's just pure uh, SL Aqua soil only. Yep, so that's it. Hi, so now um, I have just uh, filled the aquarium with water, the initial water run. As you can see, the water is a bit cloudy. Uh, uh, to my surprise, it's a bit uh, to the brown thin side, maybe because of the SL Aqua. Uh, not exactly a bad thing, but um, just brown. But, but it, it will go away eventually with the filtration, the, the carbon. Um, so to, actually, to my surprise is that there's uh, the, 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 not much of the filter here. I mean, the wood doesn't float. Uh, only one of them but this one over here. Uh, it flopped when I fill up to the top, so I have to use this uh, rock over here to hold it on site, uh, not too hard. So everything is fine. Um, let's take a look at the system that I'm running here. So the water coming from here, as you can see. And then um, it came through this uh, filter over here. I have some bio balls, bio sponge, some uh, other bio medias, uh, cotton. And at the top I have a uh, croupizop. Regen. I have temporarily put an uh, fluval uh, aqua clear, I think what's the name? I forgot the, the carbon that fluval made, fluval C. It's actually a carbon mixture with uh, resin to help uh, clarify the water. I know that it will be uh, uh, cloudy and also a uh, uh, bit yellow thing because of the soil. And then also, uh, this is not our water now. We are temporarily using uh, just uh, normal tap water because I'm going to. Uh, uh, change the water several times uh, for the for the for the week or two. So uh, the, after the filtration, it went to the chiller. The chiller is not on yet. It's here. Maybe I should on it. I'm not sure. Maybe I just leave it uh, not on. The light will be turned on. Uh, sorry, the light will be turned off. Uh, un until um, when I started to in uh, to introduce plant into the tank, which is around uh, one to two weeks from now. So. Yep, this is how it's gonna it's looking right now. Right.